Hey guys, this is Nothing Nowhere, and this is Into the Trauma Factory. Today we're in the woods in northern Vermont. Um, came out here to have some tea, and I put out a prompt not too long ago. I'll show it on screen right now. Essentially just asking you guys to send me anything. Um, something that keeps you going, something you're grateful for, your pets, really anything. My album Trauma Factory comes out February 19th, and the name Trauma Factory essentially is a play on Buddhism and how suffering, human suffering, is a part of life and there's some type of beauty in that. I've got thousands of letters from you guys, really overwhelming response, and I picked a few for each episode to read and we can have some tea and sort of digest it. Also stay tuned for the end of this video, I'll be showing all the amazing, heartwarming and funny photos that you guys sent. Although Trauma Factory, the album, doesn't come out until February 19th, we can dive into the Trauma Factory a little bit right now. So let's see what you guys had to say. So this one is from Anna. Hey Joe, I love that you're doing this, thank you. Well, thanks for sending. I would like to share about a personal goal of mine. This year I aim to become more aware, more gentle, more forgiving, and more whole. I wish to change the world and open eyes and minds. I hope to see the world heal itself and I hope to be a part of that process. It's a really nice sentiment. Um, more aware, more gentle, and more forgiving. That's very similar to a morning mantra that I usually have, just to become a higher version of yourself. Be more gentle. I think gentle is a really cool word to use and it's uh, really admirable as well, just to be more patient and forgiving. A lot of times when you converse with people or you lose your temper, you don't realize that other people have so many things they're going through as well. Um, and she ends by saying, thank you for everything that you do and for helping me get up each morning. Hey, give yourself some credit as well. Life's hard sometimes and it's hard to get up sometimes, but that's a little victory in itself. And once you get rid of that first battle, you're rolling. Fist bumps and virtual hugs. Thanks, Anna. This one's from Kaylee. Um, something that keeps me going. The idea that I'll soon be able to live the life I've worked for, surrounded by my plants, animals, and the best people I know. That's all that matters, right? Being surrounded by people that you love, and plants are amazing, nature is amazing, um, animals too, they're our planetary companions, and really all you need is some plants, some friends, and some animals, and maybe some tea. So thanks for sharing, Kaylee. This is a really cool one from Jade, and it's really applicable to right now, I guess. And Jade just says, fallen trees make bridges. So, you know, there is a positive outcome and there's a way to be optimistic within the suffering, within the traumas of life. It makes you stronger. And uh, dead and down wood here, we've processed a lot of it, and now we're making some tea, so. Thanks, Jade. This one's from Dan, and this one's really pretty moving. Dan says, my mother struggles every day with her illness, but the fact that even with her illness, she still manages to get out of bed while in a great deal of pain to support my family and care for others is truly inspirational. This motivates me to keep going, do the same, and be a better person. Well, Dan, uh, we're thinking about your mother and um, that is a, uh, it's definitely a testament to the human spirit for sure, um, to be not only struggling mentally maybe, but also physically, but still getting out of bed and showing up for people in your life that you care about. And um, I think we can all learn something from your mom and uh, hope you're doing all right with that. So thank you for sharing that. Well, uh, looks like our water is boiling. So let's get to making some tea. Cheers. Today's tea is some peppermint, nothing fancy, gets the job done and it's nice for a winter day like today, a cold winter day. So we got our boiled, uh, we got two because we got Alex behind the camera and you know we're going to provide. So let's get our snow on there. Who knows, maybe uh, the snow water will be a little bit better.
Cheers. This one's from Lucas. Uh, Lucas says, day before yesterday I saw a rabbit and yesterday a deer, today you. What does that mean? Maybe it doesn't need to mean anything. Maybe it means about staying in the present moment and enjoying what's right in front of you. Right now, some peppermint tea. Thanks, Lucas. That's good. This one's from Jonathan. Um, I want to show people my art. I've always kept it a secret and now I'm putting it out on the internet so that my friends, family, and anyone who follows me can see it. Good choice. I'm scared, but I know I'll regret it if I don't do it. I realize that art is meant to be shared because of the positive impact it could have on the viewer. Why keep it a secret? I really relate to this. Um, I started singing when I was probably 12 years old and uh, I was really afraid to sing in front of other people and I had to slowly work my way up. I would make people turn the lights off when I sang and I was recording with my friends, even my good friend Bert who now plays guitar with me. Um, and then I was really scared to put myself out there and be scared of how others would perceive me. But really those, those fears were triggered by myself as really my own, you know, um, self-confidence and um, my judgment on myself, really, because if you put something out there for others to listen to or to look at, or it's already out there. Like, you've done your job. I think the magic is making it, putting it out into the universe. Um, and like in, in the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu, I always talk about it. Um, there's a nice passage that says, do your job, then step back. And I think that as artists, that's really the most important thing because when you're making it, that's when the magic happens. And then you can put it out there and let the universe decide. So I think you made a great decision in showing other people your art. Good job. This one is from Jordan. As I started going to therapy, I learned the tidal waves in my sleep could be calmed, that my body is mine, and that happiness or any emotion should never be a goal, but a feeling you witness and experience. Wow. You are bearing witness to your emotions. You are not your emotions. You are the witness to your emotions. So we say, I am happy. I am calm. I am anxious. I am anxious. You are not those emotions. Emotions come and go like the tides. And as Lao Tzu would say and how Bruce Lee said, down the road is be like water, be shapeless, be formless. Water is so effortless when you look at it. As it goes down a river, it effortlessly moves around branches and rocks. And I think that's something we can all aspire to be like. You take a knife and you run it through water, it has no effect on the water. The water keeps moving as is, and that's inspirational. So, thank you, Jordan. That's a good one. I had to put my jacket on. We got low flames right here while we're boiling this water, so once we can get an actual fire going after this, bring some warmth. We got one from Jack right here. What keeps me going? Hi, Joe. My art keeps me going. I've suffered from anxiety and other issues since I was a kid. Same, Jack. And it made me really isolated. Same, Jack. Art, be it creating or appreciated, has been a lifeline for me to connect with people and express myself as I can't do it normally. Same, Jack. Your music has also helped me incredibly, so it's an honor to be able to share this with you. Thanks for sharing. I created this piece inspired by your one take of death. Don't worry, Skulls featured are replicas. We won't worry. Thank you for everything you do. Can't wait for Trauma Factory. Love, Jack from England. Thanks, Jack, and stay tuned at the end of this video. I'll be displaying all of the great photos that you guys sent me, so. This one is from Reyna. My name is Reyna and I live in Michigan. A few years ago I saw Nothing Nowhere live for the first time. It was the Real Friends tour where you opened. The set was amazing, had me in tears. Sorry about that. Uh, because of how much I loved it, lol. After your set, I heard someone next to me talking about how much they loved the set how it made them sad too. We ended up talking about it and bonding a lot. Her name is Julia. 
we talked and hung out for the rest of the show and we exchanged Snapchats. Cool. After that show, me and Julia talked every single day and became really close. A few years later and we were best friends. That is so cool. Uh, that's me saying that's so cool. To find a, uh, like a best friend through, just randomly, through music and at, at one of my concerts, uh, of all things, that's so cool. I really miss touring and hopefully touring will be back soon. But for now, you know, we're in the woods sharing some stories. So thank you, Reina. Here's one from Ingrid. After being discharged from the hospital in 2018 after nearly dying from an eating disorder, I decided getting a cat would help me in my mental health. I still struggle with my eating disorder, but I'm getting better. And it's all thanks to my cat. He keeps me motivated, he gives me a reason to keep pushing forward. I owe my life to my little guy, Ingrid. That is amazing. Um, and shout out to cats. I love my cat as well. And animals are healing. That makes me happy. Well, I think that's it for today. Like I said, we have thousands of messages. Hopefully in the next one we can go through some more. So stay tuned for the end of this video. And I'll be showing some of the cool images and photos and everything that you guys shared with me. So, till next time, this is Into the Trauma Factory. Trauma Factory, February 19th. Peace be with you. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.